Okay, so I'm here, we're here with uh, Sir Terry Leahy uh, that's been working with uh, Tesco. So tell me about your background and, and what is Tesco for those of guys who don't know? Yeah, well, Tesco is uh, the world's third largest retailer. And I think people are interested in the Tesco story because we were once a struggling retailer in the UK, number three just in the UK. Uh, and a long way behind some very good businesses, Marks and Spencer and Sainsbury. And in 10 years, we grew 10 times faster than those companies through a series of customer-focused innovations. And so people are interested in that story. And what what was your uh, role at uh, Tesco? Well, I was uh, the first marketing director and then I became chief executive for 14 years. Okay, so in short, what what, what was the key things you did during these years to, to become that profitable and, and successful? I think we rebuilt our business around our customer and used data. We were one of the first companies in the world to use what's now known as big data to manage the relationship between ourselves and customers. And we innovated a lot on the basis of what we learned about customers. We brought in new formats of stores, 24-hour shopping, uh, food on the internet, um, loyalty schemes, lots, lots of innovations that uh, pushed us ahead of the uh, competitors. The closeness to the customers and, and the focus on, on the customers' needs, is that something that you think that the industry overall and, and the retail industry has learned the, the last year? Or is, is, is it still a, uh, a maturing issue for, for uh, the companies in that world? No, there's always an opportunity because when you think about it, although industries don't grow very much, and especially at the moment, actually people's needs never go away. People always need new things, not just material things. They want security, they want satisfaction, they want to be excited, they want uh, to be informed. And so if you can meet these needs, that's a business opportunity. I mean, Tesco grew at 10% a year in an industry that grew at Burley too for 20 years, just because we followed customers and developed new products and new services that met their needs. Right. Do you think that the, the role for the marketeers, we, you've been talking today at, at the conference for marketeers, uh, has changed the last years uh, based on maybe that kind of knowledge and understanding of the customers? Well, I think the opportunity is better now than ever before because there's so much more data, so many sources of data about customers. And of course, they have more knowledge about companies too. And so there's the opportunity to build a very interesting, very rich relationship between a company and its customers. And marketing people should sit right at the center of that. Do you think that the marketeers are, are uh, on, on the way forward to taking more space and taking doing more things in the future or maybe less? I mean, there is some ideas around maybe that the salespeople or, or uh, technology people is, is uh, having bigger areas and, and scope and, and the marketeers are is diminishing. What do you think? I think they have been on the back foot. Um, marketing budgets have been under pressure in the recession. Um, the the challenge of individual customers uh, and comparison sites and so on um, have posed problems for marketeers who are used to dealing with mass market tools. However, it's marketing people that have the answers as well. And uh, they're the people that can really bring the voice of the customer into the company and can challenge the company to respond to the needs they identify with new products and new services. And actually using data, the best people to use data are marketing people. They know how to package the response so that it really hits home to that particular customer. I guess that smaller companies has a lot of easier tasks to, to be close to the customers since they have so maybe fewer customers than, than the big company. Do, what, what did you do in order to have that pretty big organization really to be that customer focused? It must be a tougher, tougher challenge compared to a smaller company. Well, it was, but that's the big prize that, you know, how can you have millions of customers and in some way have that one customer feel that uh, the, the company understands them and uh, is on their side and knows who they are. I mean, we created Clubcard, which became famous simply in order that we knew customers so we could say thank you for shopping at Tesco. That's all it was for. But um, small businesses, um, they, they, as you say, they can get closer to customers and Data costs less now to store. It's not as expensive to do these things. And it, it, small businesses can actually set out to do tailored marketing on the basis of good data. You mentioned big data as one. You were pretty 
early on in that phase and, and using that. How much of, of data knowledge or, or uh, computer systems do you need to know as a marketeer these days? I think you've got to be comfortable with it. You don't need to be a computer programmer. You've just got to um, have the habit of always making decisions on the basis of real data. And uh, just learn enough about statistics and maths so intuitively you can size things. You, get a, you, can, you, can, you know the probability of something that you see reflecting reality. Uh, as I say, you don't need to be, I'm not a mathematician, but you just need to uh, have a feel for it. You, uh, during your time at Tesco, built in a culture, I guess, uh, when it comes to being closer and understanding the customer needs. Uh, is that still around? Is, or is it vital that you have that kind of leadership or can you build in a culture where you, uh, your legacy is still around? I, I think you can build in the culture. Uh, you can lead from the market, marketing role. And I mean, I was a marketing CEO and I think that helps. Um, but if you don't have a marketing CEO as a marketing specialist, you can give that leadership. What kind of, uh, what do you do these days after, after Tesco? What's your new, new uh, mission? Well, I'm an investor now rather than a manager. Uh, and I invest in smaller businesses and I work with those businesses. So it's very interesting. You know, I, I, I see the other side. Um, uh, but, but actually, I see a lot of potential, you, you know, because the cost of these techniques that have been developed in the big companies, they trickle down and they are available to these smaller companies. So thank you very much for coming here. Pleasure to talk to you. Thanks.